Welcome back, everyone, to the Great War of the Western Front. We're now into March of 1918 and uh, still don't seem like it's very close to this war being over. We do have still an advantage in national will, though we've taken a hit lately with some of the fighting that's happening and some of the lack of supply and things. But we do have now 12 new units available. Some of these came from the Western Front or the Eastern Front because Russia's out of the war. Uh, this is going to help a lot, and we really need to try and win some battles here. So um, I'm going to start assigning some of these. There's a lot in Nancy. I don't think I'm going to break through there. Um, maybe somewhere over here like Chamont. Man, he's just loaded up in places like bar le duc and made it pretty much impossible for us to be able to do anything there. How about maybe we go after something like Neuf Chateau? Uh, see, we don't have the ability to build up our supply there is the problem. So let's build our supply depot up a little higher. Let's move tanks over there. Uh, some air power over there. And then let's get the rest of these divisions somewhere where they can help. Put a couple there. Put a couple here, I think. All right, let's see what happens. German Spring Offensive, the Kaiserschlag. So those those were some of the extras that I had also. Defeat three Mark One tanks. Give us a little bonus to National Will. But those National Will bonuses are pretty minor compared to what we need. So he's spying in Morhang. We have to think maybe there's an attack coming there. You know, we can auto-resolve this. We won't take much of a loss that way. As long as both sides are losing national will, we come out on top because we've got more there. He is attacking more hang now. All right, we're going to have to get some more men there too. But we win the battle of national will if, it, if both sides keep dropping like this. Man, he's really hitting us. We've got to get some more defense there. Major loss. All right, we're going to have to fight these battles from now on in places like Morhang for sure. All right, we've got four research points available to us. Phosgene gas, I don't think it's really going to help us a lot at this point. Um, maybe... Improving the grenade attacks. Sniper training. Each elite infantry company gains a specialized sniper. I like that. Let's do that. All right, let's look for some ways to build up the defense and more hang a little bit. Uh, supply depot. That'll help. All right, we've got to attack somewhere, though. Chalmont. Let's do it. I think we can win this one. This is an interesting map. It's it's pretty narrow. Uh, it's got corners are where the command trenches are. And then you've got, like, this X and Y thing going on here. Uh, wow. This is going to be pretty fascinating have to decide how we want to go about this all right so we're gonna launch our main attack from right here uh, and go straight at B from both there but also from down here uh, I think that's a good way to do it I've got pretty good coverage from my artillery for most of B maybe not so much on the southern end of things I've got my six tanks but I'm gonna kind of hold off on using them at first uh, until we kind of make some, some progress. All right, here we go. We've got our artillery dropping right in here. I'm not going to be able to do much about the second line. We'll have pretty good coverage on the first line. I am going to send two tanks in there to help out. I've got some units hiding out here in the woods. Looks like one of them has already been driven off before they've even fired a shot. I'm 
going to send them forward just to kind of draw the fire of these trenches. I am watching for any mortars or machine guns that he might have on the second line. I don't see them yet. These guys are mainly just going to draw the fire of these guys so that the other units can drop into the front trench. These guys have flamethrowers. Lovely. Oh my gosh, look at that. That's horrifying. That is absolutely horrifying. Wow. Okay. Well, that's terrible and awful and everything in between. Let me pause for a second. Where are these tanks? I should have sent the tanks first. I waited a little too long on the tanks to where they couldn't support the infantry and they're kind of coming in behind everything. I definitely got to call in a bunch of reinforcements now, though. And that's going to take a little bit of time for them to come in. Alright, we got to deal with these flamethrowers quickly. What do these guys have? There's a grenade symbol there. I'm not entirely sure what that means, because I thought everybody had grenades. Now here come our tanks. Alright, um... Well, we're almost ready for artillery again. There we go. Now, our artillery is limited somewhat in terms of what they can hit in this trench. But they'll be able to cover the others really well. That's why I wanted to go after this one first. Because I knew this one would be the toughest. Let's turn this tank to the side, see if we can get some fire on these guys. Reinforcements are on the way. tight and wait for those reinforcements. Here they come. Alright, let's uh, start directing some of these guys. Drop into these frontline trenches and then we'll kind of go from there. Finally took care of the French flamethrowers. All right, we're going to drop into this other trench and hit these guys. So far, they're not really doing much damage to my tanks, so that's a plus. Let's go ahead and move the tanks in. All right, we do have some mortars back here. I can hit one of them, not the other. They could do some damage to my tank, so I need to be careful there. Oh, that tank just got lit up. I think that was by his mortars. Uh, I hate those mortars. All right, we need to hang hang back so we can deal with them. The mortars can definitely be brutal when you're defending. Ugh. 
almost ready with our artillery. There we go. Alright, we're gonna quiet these things until we can take them out. French Raiders, that's what those are. They're Raiders. Dang. So I guess that's kind of their equivalent to our Stormtroopers, which we aren't really using yet. All right, so now what we've got to do is we've got to move in to get in to range where we can start grenading these things. There we go. There we go. Grenades took care of that. All right, let's do some more reinforcements called in here. Okay, we've eliminated all of the enemy from around B. He does have some... Oh, boy. He's got some major fire coming at me from over here that I can't really see. So there are guys in these other trenches. So let's get some fire on them. We've got that morale boost for the troops that are near a tank. Remember, remember, I have four more tanks I haven't even started using yet. Clear the rest of these guys out of here. I'm gonna try and get up closer to give them some of that tank morale boost if I can. There we go. All right, beautiful. B is cleared. We've got to take A, and we've got to take his command trench. We've got plenty of time to do it. Moving everybody into position now, and uh, kind of my goal here now is uh, get everybody close. Oh, somebody been fired on already? They are. Okay. So we're a little too close. So let's pull back some. Uh, I want to start getting my other tanks. I'm sending two more tanks up here. I'll save the last two uh, so that I have them for the assault on A. Once my tanks get up to about the front line and my reinforcements get here, then we're just going to rush this position. We're going to drop fire on these rear trenches. I'll leave the, the back ones open a little bit because I think I'll be able to rush into there okay. Okay, um, dropping two on this one, two back here. Tanks are moving into position. Now we'll start moving the infantry. Tanks are taking a lot of hits, but if the tanks are taking the hits, that means their infantry is not. Now we know he's going to have mortars, so we've got to be really careful with our tanks. We don't want to get them into mortar range. Just about ready to take out the artillery, it looks like.
Beautiful. Alright, looking good so far. Got a lot still to take, but uh, from here we can move in and the job gets a little easier. So what I'll do now is I'm going to start spreading out the line a little bit here. I'm waiting for my artillery to be ready so I can start dropping it on these other trenches again. Though nobody's firing at me at the moment, so I don't know if I'm just out of range or if he just doesn't have men back here. I'm going to assume that I'm just out of range. Looks like I'm also just out of range, though, of his... Or to be able to use my artillery on some of these other lines. Alright. I really don't think he does have men in some of these lines. I don't see a lot happening as far as fire goes on me right now. So maybe the rest of his men are in A. Alright, we're getting grenades on his artillery now. I think this is all empty back here. Now oh, there's French in the uh, in the command trench itself. Alright, let's send help over there. But then that'll be it for that one and we can start moving on the last trench. All right, so I, even while I'm still taking the command trench, I'm going to go ahead and start advancing on this next one. He does have men in there. So let's go ahead and start hitting them. Because if we can get into these ones here, that's going to give us access all the way down without having to be out in the open. Oh, yeah, and we have more tanks. So how are we doing here? We've got them. We're just waiting patiently for the command trench to be taken over. Alright, I expect he's going to have men in these front lines. Although so far it looks like maybe not. We do have some barbed wire to deal with here. Oh yeah, they're there. Yeah, these guys might not make it. I've only got a small advance party going here. Oh, so we can reinforce from over here now, huh? It's actually not a bad thing. All right, we can at least get a glimpse of everything here. Oh, yeah, there's the mortars. They're going to tear this tank up. Not a thing I can do about it, really. That's okay. Let's keep moving into position from this side. All right, we took the headquarters. I'm hoping he's just going to offer to surrender here. That we won't have to fight it all the way, but... No, we just lost one of our tanks. It's okay, it happens. All right, flamethrowers right there. Not if I have anything to say about it. All right, here come my reinforcements. Let's try to drop them in the front. 
trench here. Oh, there, they did. Yeah, we'll accept that surrender. Beautiful. And that was a one-star territory, which means we took it. Lovely. So there's a great victory. It's a plus eight for us, a minus 12 for him. More importantly, it's major losses as far as the points go there. Uh, and that is a territory that I believe should cut him off, divide him from right and left. Yeah, so um, there's no spot right here. So I don't, I don't know how that works because France technically continues this direction. Uh, but at the very least, I've got him kind of cut off here a little bit now. So just looking to see where there might be any. I, I'm a little worried about Châtillon, Sir Marne could go after some of these territories here that are kind of weaker. But um, not too, too worried about that. All right, let's go ahead and advance, see what happens. He's spying on Rethel now. Rethel, yeah. Not surprised by that. We'll auto-resolve that. We'll take the national wheel drop because, again, we've got 116 points ahead of him. Ooh, great loss. He's coming at me from Chateau Thierry. He's got eight core. All right, we can afford one, one star. We're going to avoid casualties, replenishment, and supply costs this way. Let's do that. We'll concede one star there because that will give us time to build it up. Before he hits us again. Death in the air. Devastating influenza. Here comes Spanish flu, which started in America. Uh, so it's going to hurt us big time. Minus 200 supply, minus 10 national will. Uh, I think I'd rather have that than take the hit to the gold reserves. Of course, that drops us basically to nothing on supply. What can we do here? Uh, decisions, decisions. I feel like I want to do something connected to the artillery, but I don't know what else I really have. Artillery spotting. We're not using siege bombardments, though. All right, we're going to increase the gold reserves we get every turn. Uh, we need to reinforce Rathel. Where can we do that from? We can probably do that from Lille a little bit. Definitely can do it from here. And then we can buy a supply depot to increase the amount of supply that we have there when he comes at us with another attack. Now, in the meantime... All of these guys are cut off. So that means none of them can attack. So in theory then, we ought to be able to move some of these guys to other parts of the line. I'll see if that's actually the case. I believe I've been told that, that they can't attack when they're cut off like that. So that helps a lot. Chamont. We don't have any of the things like supply and stuff like that, so I don't know how much we could really do here. Oh, okay. If we auto-resolve, we might actually get a major victory without having to fight this one. We got it. So, eh, it doesn't drop a star, though, but that's okay. Um, where else can we hit him? What's this here? Unread event. Battle of Cantigny. Minus 10 to National Will. Well, National Will is getting a little tighter than I'd like it to be. But as long as we keep them cut off, I think we'll be okay. Can we hit him at Verdun? Nah, that'd be a stalemate. Not worth it. All right, let's hang tight. Bar le Duke is spying on now. That's, or spying from, I should say. All right, no attacks. That's actually really helpful. I think we're going to hang hang on to our 
points for now. Uh, where do we want to attack? All right, they are starting to lose stars over here. Beautiful. All right. I don't know that they'll lose any more because if they lose another one, then they would just lose the territory. Uh, so we'll sit tight with that for now. Actually, we could just send a single unit in to kind of take some of this territory. Which kills his national will by 20. That's nice. We could probably do that again, can't we? Move in here, too. Uh, maybe not, because we just took this one. No, we might not even have to launch any attacks. All right, what's happening here? Unsustainable. Our constant pressure on their lines has severely demoralized not only the enemy troops in the trenches, but the civilians in their hometowns. Already their people and politicians speak about ending the war. Look at that. They just dropped a 169 because we just took all of that territory because he was cut off. Wow. So you do lose that territory when you're cut off. So cutting off is a way to go. I mean, absolutely. I've learned a lot in this campaign that's going to help me in my next campaign where we're going to play the allies next. Um, a lot of things that I did that I, I would definitely do differently next time. I have a lot better understanding how the game works. Tsar of Russia was murdered in uh, Ekaterinburg. Historically, that did happen then. So we're pr pretty darn close to winning this thing at this point. We just got to hold on to all of the territory that we've already got. Let's move in to some of these spots so he can't just step in there. I don't have any more. No, we don't. No, that's okay. Um, let's take some of these guys from Rothel now. Send them over to Bar Duke. We gotta send somebody to. I don't see. Okay. We've got two more regions we're gonna take here that are cut off. Um, no, auto resolve it. I don't think we need to fight any more of these battles. I think we've got them. There they go. We just took two more. Last legs. He's down to 91. Oh, that's lovely. The 100 days offensive begins. So a lot of these are things that happened historically that it's actually building into it. Which I don't know if I like that, just because none of those things would have happened historically. 100 Days Offensive would never have been happening in this timeline based on how things are going. So I, I guess I don't really like that kind of thing. Let's get these trained reserves. Give us some new units to send in there. Not that we necessarily need them. We're about to take Verdun, though, and I think that's going to pretty much do it. He's going to be darn close to being out of this war once Verdun falls. Let's go ahead and buy some national supply. Honestly, don't even need to spend this at this point, I don't think. I think we just got to wait it out. He's got nowhere he can really do anything. Verdun has fallen. Oh, so much for you shall not pass. We have passed. Verdun's a beautiful city, by the way. Oh, my gosh. A lovely city on the Meuse River. I had such a great view out of my hotel when I was there. But it's a sad, sad place. It really is. So take a look at how much we have carved out now. So now we just need to find somewhere we can break him. So I went ahead and auto-resolved a couple battles because every one of those is dropping his national will. I'm not entirely surprised that he's going to try and launch an attack. But it all kills him right now. I mean, every, every one of these reduces his national will by a few points. And he's down to 39 now. 
Victorious. Our series of combat victories has not gone unnoticed by the people. Recruitment is up and pride in our accomplishments is all the people talk about. 371 to 39 now. Alright, all we have to do now is just auto-resolve a few more battles to reduce the national will on both sides. And that'll do it. I'm just going to keep hitting him until he hits zero. Uh, not where we would have a major loss, though. Huh, that's weird. What has he got going on in there that it would be a major loss? You know we haven't fought anything at all up here in the Ypres salient. And that would be a major loss, too. All right. Well, we're not going to do that, then. A great loss. Stalemate. That's what we need. Campania. That's where the armistice was signed, was in Campania. All right, one more turn. We might end up actually ending the war right around the exact time it actually happened historically. Wouldn't that be something? Because we're getting into October 1918 now. There's one more month till November, and I think, I think October, November is going to be where this thing ends. It might be October, though. I'll concede that. Oh, that's going to give him point points, though. Ah, darn it. Auto-resolve. Ah. Auto-resolve. There we go. So we lost a lot of points, but that's okay. Oh, now we're in November. War fatigue. Both factions will lose 30 national will each turn until the game ends. I expected that would probably be how they did this. Uh, just to kind of speed things along. German Revolution, yeah. I'm not too worried about that. We're going to end it right here. Insufficient supply to initiate combat. Oh, well, that's not a problem. We can we can buy lots of, lots of supply. And plenty of that. Minor victory. How close is that going to get us? Well, I mean, none of this matters because at the end of the turn, he's going to lose 30, and then that's going to be it. But I'd like to do it on the battlefield if I can. One more. One more. Major loss. No, that's not what I want. I don't want no major loss. Where can I get? Oh, he moved a bunch of troops up onto the line everywhere, didn't he? Darn it. There's not going to be anywhere that I can do this. Oh, here it is. That's the one. And with that, the war should be over. Oh, do we actually have to hit end turn? Zero. Oh, why, why are we even fighting this? Does he get a chance to try and bring the national will off of zero? There it is. The armies of the German Empire, the finest fighting force the world had ever seen, was victorious. As in the Franco-Prussian War before it, the German army crashed through the French lines. In spite of their tenacity, the British were pushed back to the sea. As artillery thundered across Paris, its leaders conceded, prone at the feet of the... Oh, look at the Kaiser's troops in Paris, the Arc de Triomphe. History would forever be changed. Germany now emerged as a nation powerful enough to shape the modern world, stripping the allies of their colonies and building their own. Galvanized by victory, this new superpower would shape the world for hundred percent to come. Absolutely would. Just how far would its ambition take it? Germany wins that war, the whole world looks different, man. Germany is the superpower at that point. That Germany and the U.S. might be where your Cold War is. Finally, the guns fell silent. Woo! Tell you what, this game does a good job of capturing the nature of the war. I'll give them that. That was pretty good. I enjoyed that. Ready to do it again as the Allies. Is there anything else that we're going to see on here? Or does it just go back to the menu at this point? Maybe like a closing credits or something. Yep. Awesome. 
Well done, Petroglyph. Enjoyed that. Let me know your thoughts. Use the comment section below. Uh, and we will come back with an allied campaign probably after I get back from Gettysburg this weekend. Thanks for watching.